Hi, my name's Ben Beaton. I'm an artist. I'm going to take you through a collaborative project that I did with fellow artist William Boot during our residency at the Eco Sciences Precinct in 2015. I've worked with William many times in the past. We went to uni together at Southern Cross uh, almost 20 years ago now. And uh, William developed a style of painting which was quite unique working in encaustic paints and here you can see some examples of the collaborative project that myself and William did together uh, commencing in 2007 at a residency at Dunmuchen which was uh, set up by artist Clifton Pugh outside of Melbourne. I realized that with William's style um, through my use of computers being one thing that I, I do, I do I use computers for some of my work, I could manipulate some of these encaustic paintings and create this kind of um, more complex kind of version um, based on the kinds of ideas that he had and the direction that he was interested in heading in. Following that uh, we worked on other projects together, like one about the Flurio Peninsula and uh, human population growth, but that's in a different film. What I'm going to tell you about here is the project at the Brisbane Eco Sciences Precinct and what I wanted to do was, um, so I, I'd been there quite a bit and looked at a lot of the satellite imagery that they were taking, particularly um, on the Darling Downs, which um, is is important area to me being I live in Toowoomba and there's a lot of mining that's going on on the Darling Downs, a lot of coal seam gas mining uh, particularly now and uh, yeah that, that, so that's that's something that's uh, topical it's threatening farming um, a lot of people feel that to be the case and you find it elsewhere in the world so I, I wanted to make an artwork which um, made a statement on that because looking at the satellite imagery I could see these wells just going on as you can see in this image um, as far as you could see in every direction this just happened there wasn't really much consultation about it so I'd, I'd said to William you know look at this we've got this kind of patterning in the landscape maybe this is something we could work with and um, over time I came up with an idea that we could put this um, maybe one of William's paintings on this inside an infinity box uh, it's a box with mirrors on the inside so William uh, was in Finland at the time on another artist residency so he was doing his residency at the Eco Sciences precinct um, from a distance so he found a material over there that was a, a plastic um, a mirror type material and then he uh, built it um, when he after he was in Finland he went to um, Canada so he built the box in Canada and then took the box with him to Korea and did the painting based on the satellite imagery that I'd provided to him and the design that um, we'd worked on on computers just through Skyping and um, so we developed the design for how the painting would be it was going to be in like a, a pyramid type shape and then um, just through sort of default we realized that you, you could put different lighting and stuff in and William got a few different kinds of lights and put them in uh, and along with his painting and we you know I, I, I then thought like this could become like a storyboard type thing we could we could put this in in sequence like a story of different abstract events so people would look through this peephole and as you're seeing here now there's all sorts of different effects that uh, we were able to generate through this process in the artwork I wanted to give the presence of the piping which is a necessary part of coal seam gas mining so after a fairly lengthy process um, I was able to locate uh, a construction kit for pipes which suited what I was um, looking to uh, express and and it was a they didn't come in white they were rainbow colors so as you can see here I um, 
spray painted them and installed them in the space along with the uh, painting inside the infinity box to to further express that idea of this this piping that just goes on as far as you can see in every direction amidst the farming land of the Darling Downs. So then that is a very interesting project. It was, it was making a statement on um, the coal seam gas mining on the Darling Downs through an artwork and based on this geometric style of painting in wax that William had developed I'd wanted to take that into exploring the satellite, using it to explore the satellite imagery and then we came up with this idea of this infinity box um, and so that was that was the, the process.